I'm here to tell you guys that I had more fun in the United States Army basic training at Fort Jackson, South Carolina than any one person was ever, ever, ever supposed to have. <laughs> Especially a girl. I, uh, I didn't go in as, uh, you know, the, the normal 17, 16, 17, 18 year old uh, soldier. I went in at the age of 22. Um, I didn't go in as an E1. I went in as an E3 because I had 60 credits, uh, 60 credit uh, hours of college. So I went in as a private first class. Uh, it was it was quite an advantage. Uh, the reason why I went into the army is because I wanted a career. I wanted a steady job. I wanted discipline, and I wanted to get the hell out of Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> so. Um, one of my first duty stations, um, you know, I was, I was a squared away soldier and uh, I was pl platoon guide, squad leader, cadence caller. So when drill sergeant was tired of leading the march, he said, come on Gladys and lead this cadence. You know, they call me Gladys tonight. I don't think I sound like Gladys, but you know, it's like, you know, uh, uh, they gave me the compliment and we all ran with it. So one of my first duty stations was, uh, the Omaha Recruiting Battalion. I was a junior recruiter at, uh, at the same uh, recruiting station where I, I signed up. Um, my mother had died, and uh, I called my recruiter and I told him, I said, I told him about my mother passing away, and he said, you know what? Um, uh, I was stationed at Fort Bliss, Texas, and he said, you can come up to, I can get you a compassionate reassignment, attach you to the recruiting station here in Omaha, Nebraska. And you could stay here for a few months. And I was like, great, because they would give me a chance to, to grieve the loss of my mom, take care of her estate, um, and, um, and just be able to hang with my family. Um, and then that's, that's when it started. Um, instead of being there for a couple of months, I was there for about six months. Um, so I want you guys to just imagine for six months, every day you walked into your place of work that you would hear cat calls. For six months, every day I would hear about how I smell, the way I walk, how well my uniform fit. The recruiter that put me in was my commanding, uh, uh, was my commander. And Sergeant Allen was relentless on making me um, go to bed with him. And he tried every day for those six months. It's only, my only relief was the weekend. Um, we would take kids uh, to, for, to go to, for testing. And then when, get, uh, when, we, when the kid would get out the car, then he would be all hands. He, He'd reach over and try to hug me and stuff, and he he uh, put his hands on my thighs in the car, and we walked down the when I walked down that long hallway in the recruiting station, he would pin me up against the wall, and since my mother died and stuff, he would tell me, uh, "I love you," and so uh, six months later, I got a new duty station, and I, I remember the look on his face, uh, and I remember him being so angry when he said. Uh, Tyree, you're not gonna last six months in the Army. You ain't gonna last six months in Fort Riley, Kansas. And so that's where my next duty station was, Fort Riley, Kansas. In this little hell hole um, at Fort Riley, Kansas is a minimum and medium security prison down the street from Leavenworth, and it's called Camp Funston. And Camp Funston is for bad soldiers. And so um, um, I get to, uh, uh, 60 minutes tried to get into the to the gates of um, well there were no gates um, but they tried to get them in the into the premises on post at Camp Funston they could they would never let them in um, my first sergeant at this prison where I was now working was an old wrinkled prune from Joplin Missouri and this man had this thing for red bone and I hated that word. I hated it back in the day and stuff. It's like, it's the equivalent of a dizzy blonde, okay? 
<laughs> so this man, he chased uh, uh, another red bone, light-skinned black woman, chased her before I got there, uh, drove her crazy. The one before that, uh, she complied. So, you know, life was sweet for her, I guess. And then here comes PFC Tyree, and I didn't comply. I didn't comply with him asking me, would you go out with me? Will you babysit my uh, kids while me and my wife go to the military ball? Um, uh, let's go have a drink out in the city. Uh, and I told this man uh, to please stop hitting on me because all I want to do is, quit, uh, is keep my job. So, next thing you know, that E3 that I had turned into an E2 with 30 days of restriction to my barracks, my place of worship, and my place of work for 30 days. That E2 turned into an E1. So now it's 60 days of restriction. This man chased me around the orderly room. This man took my keys out of my car. Um, and so he had me painting rocks, boulders, and I'm from Nebraska. I know nothing about farming or gardening, but I had a, he, had, he had me with a hole and a rake digging up weeds out of the comfy garden. And uh, the prisoners that were there, the guys would walk around, a couple of guys, they were dropping tears and stuff, and they was like, damn, Tyree, it's like, they have you doing stuff that uh, they don't even have us doing. They have, they have you doing horrible shit that, 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 that we don't even have to do, and we're prisoners. Um, so I, had, I said, I gotta get out of here. I, what am I gonna, I, what am I gonna do? And somebody told me, well, put yourself on levy and, and, and go to Korea. And then put yourself on levy and sign up for Germany because those orders come quick, maybe within six weeks or so, and you can get on out of here. And so I did that. And I was wondering, I'd never heard anything, but uh, finally, 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 the All Army Soldiers Talent Competition <coughs> came to Fort Riley, Kansas. It was an audition to sing and dance for the USO show around the world for the troops. And I'm like, now this is my, this is, this is my chance to get the hell out of there and to go sing and dance. I mean, I watched the Bob Hope show all my life, so I know how important <laughs> this is. And besides, I've been a performer all my life. So this is it. So I get up there, I audition, nervous as I can possibly be, 22 years old, I had my finger snaps, and I got up there with my voice and I sang, how come you don't call me anymore by Prince? <laughs> and, and so um, they said, we want you. We're not supposed to tell you this, but you know, pack your bags, you're getting ready to sing and dance around the world for the USO, and I was like, this is it. So, six to eight weeks later, I go to the, the early room, and I, I, I have my form with me, and I asked my, uh, my captain and, and my first sergeant, I said, have you heard from the USO show? You know, it's like, because uh, <laughs> it's about that time, you know, it's, I'm ready to go. And so, those men looked at me, they laughed at me, and my first sergeant took that paper and tore it up, and he said, Tyree, you ain't going nowhere. I told you if it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna see your ass in prison. So at that point, I, got a, I found a chaplain and the chaplain helped me get out of the army, but I didn't wanna go, I ran. That was my dream shot. And those men destroyed not only uh, my career, uh, my military career, but also a potential, potentially wonderful performing career. Um, so for, the, for the, so for the next 35 years, I've been swimming through life. Uh, this happened three more times, at least in, in my in jobs in my civilian life, and it takes me right back to those to those first days in the military, those first incidents of sexual harassment in the military. So. 35 years later, I'm here in Atlanta. I'm having a horrible time. 
getting my life together, uh, the depression, the anxiety, just uh, living in a fog and not knowing what to do about it. Uh, but with the help uh, and the support of my daughter, um, with Fort McPherson, uh, domiciliary, who introduced me to ACSS when I met Nikhil Durham, and Nikhil Durham and Mr. Ellis and all the rest of the staff built me up, uh, made me realize some things, got me uh, feeling stronger about myself, had me singing at the graduation. This is how all this crap started. <laughs> and introduced me to Ms. Shannon and Story Muse. I stand before you, all you good people, a lot stronger uh, with uh, 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 a brand new creature uh, as far and being as being as far as being a stronger person, I'm not in prison anymore, and I'm a stronger performer. So, uh, Come on, I, <laughs> I'll do this real quick. <laughs> I keep your picture beside my bed, and I still remember everything you said. Yeah. I always thought our love was so wrong. I guess I was wrong. Ooh. Always thought you'd be my side, baby. Now you're gone. 